G'day, this is Peter from The Property Club and I'm very excited because this is the last video in the series. You would have seen the video which was the second last of Manila condos priced between 1 and 2 million peso. Well tonight we're doing condominiums in Metro Manila priced between 3 to 5 million peso. So I found the best of the best. I've tried to find properties that are still available in the market today and are centrally located in areas like Central Ortigas, Central BGC, Central Makati, Greenbelt, around the Ayala Triangle and Gramercy and Century City, per se, uh, near the Casino District, etc. So we're looking in the centre of Metro Manila, the heart. And you're going to be surprised, I've got some awesome awesome properties the best of the best in the manila series after this we will be moving to the next series which is cebu Visayas region okay so we're looking at cebu we're looking at the Visayas region in the next set of videos and after that we'll be looking at clark and subic bay so let's start with number one which is this one it's priced at 3.2 unfortunately there is not a picture but it does have some details. It's located in the Malayan Plaza. It's in front of the Podium Mall, so a great location, very close to the Podium, across the road from the Podium, and near Mega Mall and Robinson's Galleria, in central, in the middle smack bang of Ortigas City Center. So it is 37.6 square meters, and let me grab my calculator, at 3.2 million, it's an absolute steal, 37.6. In the Malayan, they're asking 85,000 peso per square meter. Going to move as quick as I can. The next one, 3.45 million, please do keep up, is East Bay Residences. Now, you probably heard me harp on about this development. The developer is Rockwell. Rockwell Primaries, to be exact. I love Rockwell. I love this development. Actually, it's possible this unit has been sold because I have featured it in a previous video, which was Alabang. Um, it's located in, in Sukat Paranyaki, very close to Alabang. The condominium development Rockwell is a great developer, and the development is more like a resort. So great for retirees. Check this out. <clears throat> it's a true one bedroom. It's a cracker of a price at 3.45 million peso. Nice design, I like what they've done there to maximise the space. Nice living space and separate bedroom. East Bay Residences, check it out. It is a great development, priced at 3.45 million. One bedroom. And it is 37.1 square metres. So it is under 100,000 peso per square metre. The asking price is 37.1 which is 92,000 peso per square meter. It's priced correctly. Moving ahead. And it's the Makati Palace. <clears throat> and believe it or not, this is a studio which includes parking for a very cheap price. It's only 3.5 million. If you're familiar with the Makati Palace, um, I wouldn't need to tell you that it is located on P. Burgos and that's the red light city in Makati. <clears throat> There's a big basement below and I've seen some very expensive cars. I even seen the old Porsche from Bad Boys or what looks like it is out of Bad Boys. Bad Boys 1 the movie and a few Ferraris in this building a few moons ago now. Moving along it's a rush sale one bedroom 40 square meter 3.5 million in East Galleria it's a loft in the middle of Ortigas. So very good, very good. For 3.5, you cannot go wrong. I'd still want to negotiate it though. And it's priced at 87,500 peso per square meter. Moving along, resale. It's Studio Greenbelt. So it's a studio, it's in Greenbelt Radisson's, which overlooks the park. Not sure if this condominium does because they, know, they don't actually show you the balcony. They just draw the curtains. Really annoying when they don't show the balcony. But 3.7 for a 35 square meter condominium at Greenbelt is extremely well priced. Moving along. <clears throat> 3.8. It's a little rich for my blood. It's the Grove. 
and it's only 21 square meters but the grove is extremely popular because it's close to uh, Ortigas it is in Pusik City and the thing about the grove it has some amazing facilities so if you're interested contact this person it's the cheapest one I could find online this evening at the grove and 38 square meters divided by 21 sorry 33.8 million divided by 21 is 180,000 peso per square meter I don't like that PSM rate I think at that rate you should be buying in Makati Rockwell obviously they're asking a lot more in Makati but you can get them that cheaply if you fossick so you know as far as I'm concerned at that kind of money PSM per square meter you're better off buying in Rockwell Makati okay this is a gift I wasn't going to show you but it's a gift okay so Merry Christmas Christmas has come early this is four million it's Greenbelt it's a loft it's literally on Greenbelt by the way it's located in Prince Plaza 2 which is an older building but it's an oldie but a goodie it's only it's only small it's 30 square meters but it feels a lot bigger I'll show you the pictures at first I didn't think it was a loft but then after looking at the pictures you can see the stairwell there it is definitely a loft on Greenbelt for four million honestly of all the properties I've seen in the last few weeks fossicking online every single night that is awesome you cannot get a better location than this and personally I like the older style buildings because I feel they're actually built better than a lot of the newer buildings some think differently because you know they might have copper lines it might be hard to get good fiber internet in a building like this and yes that's a downside absolutely but who knows investigate the building it might be all right but what I can say is this building location second to none for that price Prince Plaza 2 okay so the next we are looking at a rush sale it is Newport 150 28.3 square meter a brand new condominium for 4.2 and this is the condo nice pool looks like it's on the ground floor so you walk straight out into that pool great for parties <laughs> yep yeah that'd be great if you had a few friends around around the pool drinking beers no I really like that one it's good really good what I like about it is look you got that space you can walk out maybe even put some chairs out the front to kind of increase the living space <laughs> uh, a bit sneaky thing but you know why not just do it <laughs> next one another Newport 150 studio 4.2 I'm just gonna move through these very quickly because actually I had a problem tonight I filmed and I had a technical area error so this is the second time filming and I'm eager to start doing uh, the work on the Cebu series had enough of Manila <laughs> I'm not even there and I want to get out <laughs> anyway moving along studio this is the cheapest studio it's 30 square meters price at 4.3 million in the Gramercy in Century City Makati so the price is 143,000 peso per square meter these are the pictures it is such a nice unit Wow okay so this and the other unit which was the loft probably my two favorites thus far these are my picks of the night look at that balcony in a newish building the Gramercy and the Gramercy has some amazing facilities an amazing pool that looks over Makati City I think it's on level 36 it's amazing great for pictures and that is only 4.3 the cheapest unit I could literally find in the Gramercy meanwhile in the building next door for 30 square meters they're asking like 10 and 11 million I'm referring to the Trump Tower okay so this is the Montecito so it's a little bit older this building but this is it'll be bigger 36.5 square meter studio so it's a bigger size it actually looks like a one bedroom more than a studio but I, I actually prefer this over the newer ones in Newport because of the price 4.4 for 36.5 square meters let's just do the math there for you 4.4 to 
divided by 36.5 square meters is 120,000 peso per square meter. Not bad at all. <coughs> okay, if you're not familiar with it, this is Torre de Manila. It looks over Rizal Park. This is a great buy. It used to be 4.8 for 55 square meters, unit 4112, so it's on a high floor. It's been discounted to 4.4. .4 and it's located on the front of Rizal Park. Here's some artistic impressions that I don't like, so I'll skip through them very quickly. Just show me the real pictures. This is the condo itself. That's what it looks like. Flicking through that, and what I want to show you is... Where is it? On the last slide. Okay, so this is the building. This is Rizal Park, and that's Manila Bay. So, unfortunately, it hasn't showed the feature, the main attraction of this building, which is the fact that this building overlooks Rizal Park and Manila Bay, which it's just such a fantastic view facing Luneta Park, otherwise known as Rizal Park. Moving along, 4.45. It says Makati, that is wrong. I know that building is 36 square meters. It is the Cebu Tower in BGC. Have you ever wanted to say to your friends, hey, I own a condo in BGC? Well, this is your opportunity at the price, the low, low price of 4.45 million in the Cebu Tower. This is the condominium. Only a small one bedroom, but still decent. And it's 36 square meters for 4.45 it's on the 8th floor east facing great location that building moving along it's East Bay Residences again Rockwell guys it even says the Rockwell group honestly this development feels more like a resort than a condominium I mean look at those pools decent size <coughs> And this is actually a two bedroom, so look, it is small uh, square, meter, square meterage rate. It is uh, 40, 48 square meters for a two bedroom. So, you know, only small, um, you know, bedrooms, but at the end of the day, at that price, a, a two bedroom condo, okay, close to Alabang, you know, resort style facilities, swimming pools, gym, etc., you know, shopping centers, everything in Alabang. For 4.52 bedroom, you just cannot go wrong. Great deal. Again, that's another gift. Really is. Okay, this link is bugging out on me, so unfortunately we're closing that down. Moving along. Forbes Wood Heights BGC 37 square meters for 4.5. This is the unit again. BGC guys, have you ever wanted to live in BGC? Have you dreamed of being able to tell your friends, I live in BGC? Yes. Nah. <laughs> yep. Everyone will be jealous of you. Indeed. <laughs> it's true. I'm telling you, BGC is the place to be. It's hip. It's happening for all you hipsters out there <laughs> no it's a great great area great location everything's new modern shopping centers you know great eateries and things to do nightlife etc 4.7 million this is newport studio it's a studio unit in palm villas sorry 4.732 square meters it is brand new look at that cheap 4.7 milli Brand new condo in Newport, close to the Resort World Casino and the Marriott there. Very good, very good indeed. Nice balcony there too. Okay, so here we've got a loft. So we've got a couple of lofts tonight, both in the same building, building the Eaton Emerald Lofts, which is in the middle of Ortigas. This is 4.7 million. They want cash for 39 square meters. And this is what it looks like. Nice and modern. Honestly, it looks like it's never been lived in. You can see the location. Very, very close to everything. The BPOs, Mega Mall, 
You've got Shang Plaza there, and just behind here you've got Rab Robinson's Galleria, the Podium, St. Francis, and the mall there, the shopping mall, everything there. Ortigas is a great location. Good for work and great for business too. Highly sought after location these days. And that for only 4.7 million. There's another loft priced at the exact same price, which is this next one. Actually, it is a different loft. I've confirmed it is actually different. It is not the same loft. They have different views, but it's the same price and it's the same size. Let's have a look. See, it's a bit of a different view there. <coughs> nice clean look and just think if this was in Makati it would cost twice the price I'm telling you lofts there's 40 square meter lofts and they're selling for 8 and 9 million peso that's normal so I mean this at 4.7 if you could screw them down to like 4 million flat you would be absolutely laughing that is a great buy ready for occupancy moving along and it's another condo in Greenbelt Radisson's. The other ones, the photos weren't that great. Uh, also, this one faces the park. Okay, so let's just have a look at this. That is your view. Unreal for 4.8 million. And look, now the Yala Triangle is a lot smaller than it used to be. Trying to get a unit facing a Yala Triangle is very, very expensive. This park now is probably bigger than, uh, you know, the Yala is, well, it's not really a triangle anymore, it's more of a rectangle. Um, and you've got Greenbelt very close by, so this is a great unit. It is only a studio, it's a big size studio at 34.3. It has a huge balcony, a nice terrace overlooking the park for 4.8. Obviously there were listings, there, were another, there was another listing I showed you earlier, which was in the three millions in the same building, but most likely that faces the opposite side, which just looks at buildings. You do pay more for the condos with the beautiful view of the park. That's actually a really good price for that building overlooking the park. Really nice. I've actually lived in this building and I had some great times, some wonderful memories sitting on that terrace, a terrace just like that. I had an apartment that looked exactly like this overlooking the park. It was a wonderful, wonderful place to live. Okay, this is awesome, totally awesome. It's 36.5 square meters. It is a true one bedroom right on Greenbelt. This is the Greenbelt Park Place. It's priced at 4.95 million peso. So the price per square meter, bear with me, is 135,000 peso per square meter. It is a true one bedroom, high ceilings, great building, and look at that. So that's actually a really nice living space because you know you have the couch there, but you also have like this day bed, and you could just sit there, you know, with a book, uh, reading your book or your laptop, and then you know just wander out, you know, with that view and just soak in that view. Open the window if you don't want the aircon, so really really nice unit this is an absolute bargain great location okay so the next one is the Cebu Tower again <clears throat> this one's 5 million 36 square meters Cebu Tower is yes in BGC for 5 million so not bad there they're asking a little bit more than the other one that we featured so this is 5 million divided by 36 square meters is 138,000 peso per square meter so still good for BGC still very reasonable for BGC you have to look at both units because you don't know where the position is in the building or the cut and the view everything you know matters and depending on the view you know if it's got a nice view and might and nice balcony this could cost more Okay, so look, I'm eager to get on with the Cebu videos, eager to get on. Like I said, this is last in the series, price 3 to 5 million, and we're just looking at the last units now. 
ADB Avenue Tower, 41 square meters for 5 million. Uh, keep in mind, I'm showing you the best of the best of Metro Manila based on my research and the videos that I've done in the last three or four weeks. So, guys, watch this video. Please do share it. Please do like it, upvote it, and support the channel. The more you support the channel, the more videos, the more time I'll put on research and, you know, actually give you better and better quality videos. Okay, so this is 41 square meters for 5 million, opposite Galleria in Ortigas. Great location for work, it does say, in front of Robinson's Galleria. Nice pool. It is a modern building. It's about three or four years old now. Moving along. This is another Radisson's. It doesn't tell you, but I know because I've lived in the building. It's Radisson's Greenbelt. <coughs> I'm not going to expand because it's actually bigger. And this is five million, and it doesn't look at the park. It looks on the other side. And we did have another unit that I showed you in the exact same building, and it was priced actually um, better than this. It was priced um, in the three millions. So you know, here's a comparison just to give you some idea of what these condos are selling for. And it looks like it's a wreck, and it's selling for that. Moving along. Now this is 5.49 million. This is a very good deal. It's a rush sale. I'm pretty sure I did a foreclosure video. Check back, have a look at it, my Passe Manila Bay uh, foreclosures. I'm pretty certain this is a foreclosure. It's cash offers only. Uh, they prefer cash offer if you want to negotiate. If you get this for high fours, you're absolutely stealing the condo. It is a new condominium building, which is 150 Newport. It's a larger size than the con other condominiums I've shown you tonight. It's 42.5 square meters. It is a true one bedroom unit. It's a nice unit, very good unit for the price. Great location next to the Marriott. If you want to go to the Marriott, have a buffet dinner. Across the road, you've also got Resort World Casino. Fantastic location and a great place to live. Okay, so this one I've included. This is Torre de Manila. This one actually shows you the view, the main event, the main feature. It is a great building. Look at that view. Probably the best view in all of Metro Manila because you're looking over Rizal Park, Luneta Park, the bay. Imagine the sunsets. You know, if your girlfriend's, you know, not keen on you yet, just take her to your condo on the balcony, show her the view, and she'll quickly fall in love with you. Look at that view. Very romantic. <laughs> and that's the pool. That's another view. Actually, what I heard as well, the mayor is actually cleaning up this area. Uh, the Manila Bay mayor, he's cleaned up the area before. You know, I'd go to Rizal Park. People would be sleeping there. People would beg for money. It wouldn't feel safe. Uh, nowadays it is a lot better than it used to be so it's definitely an up-and-coming area and look you've got these old beautiful you know traditional style buildings heritage buildings and you have you know unfortunately due to the war war um, you know World War two you've got very few of these beautiful you know architectural masterpieces like this in Lunetta Park I wish there was more so it is such a nice area really nice area and very close to Intramuros too it's a great area and this is 5.5 million for 42 square meters my advice is if you buy in Torre de Manila make sure you buy a unit with a balcony that looks over the park and has that view because that's only going to go up and up in value and you cannot be built out okay so the next one is 44 square meters let me scroll back up it's in Forbes Wood Park Lane BGC in the middle of BGC it's a very good price per square meter it's 5.5 million divided by 44 square meters 125,000 peso per square meter for this in the heart of BGC. It's a buyer's market again. It's no longer a seller's market. It's time as buyers. You know, we take the bull by the horns and we start to pay off some of these sellers. 
and get the best price we can negotiate hard on the apartments because you can get some really nice apartments just like this one at a great price imagine who knows they might be desperate put in an offer at a hundred thousand psm you never know you might get it you know what's frustrating though they draw the curtains and they don't show you the balcony i wish they showed you that balcony because that is a feature of the condominium and i just don't know why they don't show that moving along parkside villas newport 40 square meters it's a nice development again right next to the casino the resort world casino very good very good 5.5 million great value especially being near the airport to fly in and fly out if you love to travel and the casino and it's priced at 137,000 peso per square meter this was literally the cheapest unit in the development what I can say about this is make sure and they don't show you pictures of the balcony very frustrating they never seem to do please as an agent take pictures of the balcony we want to see it I think that's a door there I'm pretty sure that's the door to the access to the balcony you know we want to see the balcony space <clears throat> okay so we're back to the Malayan this is priced at 5.95 million now these also have big balconies I can see down the hallway where the balcony is unfortunately they're not featuring it I wish they showed it it's really frustrating so 5.95 divided by 48 they're asking 123,000 peso per square meter not a bad unit nice condominium great location I really like the Malayan always have it's a good building high ceilings very high ceilings there and it looks like it has been renovated and it's and it comes fully furnished wonderful okay so the last unit is the cheapest condominium unit in st francis shangri-la it doesn't tell me the square meters i'm assuming it's around about 36 square meters at the end of the day it is shangri-la okay so shangri-la is highly sought after it's a great building it's a luxury brand shangri-la hotels it's a five-star brand it's located right next to the edsa hotel edsa shangri-la hotel i should say and shang plaza shang plaza has over 200 restaurants you know activities for kids things to do it's an awesome shopping mall and you don't even need to leave the building literally there's a bridge from this building that goes a walkway that goes directly to the mall or the hotel so you, you don't even need to leave the complex you don't even need to go to the street it's extremely straight safe and very good security at st francis shangri-la all right so that's it look i really need your support i've been working hard on these videos please do share like and subscribe thank you so much for your support i really really appreciate it double thumbs up and have a wonderful night Bye for now. And stay tuned for the Cebu series because this is the last video in the Metro Manila series. I'm excited because, yes, we've got Cebu Versailles series coming up. I've done Manila uh, for the last three weeks, three or four weeks. Next is Cebu. And the next after that will be Subic and Angel Lee's area. If you haven't already, go to the community tab go to my channel page click community tab and then actually there's a poll where you can vote on what series is next okay so we're doing Cebu next because uh, that came up second Manila was number one Cebu was number two and number three uh, was actually Subic Bay and Angeli City so what's number four in the series you decide you vote thanks a lot double thumbs up and good night <laughs>